Welcome to Crimson Guitars. I am Ben Crow. I'm a guitar builder normally, but for the last month I've been sorting out my tool rack and quite frankly I'm bored of that. I wanted something to do that was slightly different. So I'm going to restore an axe. 1950s or thereabouts, fireman's axe. I've had it for six months or so with this in mind. Now I'm going to need to make a new handle for it, obviously. Let's see if I can get this sharp enough to shave with. Burn it. I have several problems. Uh, I've got a chunk of wood still stuck in the end here, which I'm going to knock, just pull out. Wow. And it's got these two little rivets that we're going to have to drill and then knock out. I need that. So that handle there is what I'm using as a template, albeit somewhat smaller. I need to pop that out. Aha! All right, that's a little bit uh, not what I was expecting. There's a strip in there to expand it, only minimally holding it in place, really. I'm going to set that aside. Now, I could use a wire wheel, but at the vintagetoolshop.com, which is my, uh, <laughs> uh, my dirty little secret, uh, a side business, um, we use this silicon wheel. And these things, mounted on a pigtail arbor, are insane. And, uh, oh, oh, there you go. A little anvil to do at some point as well. Always wear protection, people. Isotunes go in. Isotunes.com. Crimson 10, get 10 quid off your isotunes. I'm in a different world now. So that is as one side. And that's where we've got to fairly rapidly. So this is a Braid's Fireman's Axe. So I do think that's 1950s. Now the question is, do we try and take this and go for a perfect restoration? Or in other words, we're making it better than it was when it left the factory, just for fun that. Let's take this and go a little bit crazy. Oh, I'm so torn. I love old tools. I love the patina and the feel and the, I just think all of the dents, it shows the life of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to file, scrape. I also need to, at some point, drill out these rivets. I should do that before I get to the final finish, obviously. But I also like the stability that that's giving me. So I'm going to put this in a vise and, uh, and crack on. Uh, I'm going to file the whole thing and make it as perfect as I can because it's, it's relatively soft iron here. That took a little bit of elbow grease, that did. Now I've got some curves here. Should I do it all by hand? Or should I, um, should I move my coffee mugs? Yes, I need to clean that bottle myself, I'm sorry. Haha, <sighs> <sighs> perfection. Okay, so that matches that curve. So I'm gonna be able to go through, reshape, get rid of this um, lumpy bit and make that a little bit sharper, as it were, and essentially use this machine quite a lot. It's gonna be loud though.
I'm having fun. All right, I think I've uh, I've exhausted where I can actually reach with this machine because of the straps. So I'm going to move on and see if I've got better access on the uh, Robert Sorby Pro Edge here. This is the finish off the various, uh, the various sanders and sanding machines, etc. But on the other side, this is sanded down to 240, 320 grit on a random orbital sander. And it's actually looking rather nice. I could potentially even leave it there. I'm not going to though. The plan is I'm gonna do the other side, sort that out, then buff get that all shiny. This is a bit shiny. Uh, so what I've done is I've, I've polished it up. It's not perfect, and I do still need to drill out the rivets. I also need to sharpen. So this is the hammer that we're copying. It's got a nice sort of internal curve and a waist. But a good waist. I reckon about 14, 16 inches maybe.
this is one of the most useful clamps I have. Check it out. I'm holding down something that thick. And it's got some magic in there that automatically adjusts to allow it to hold something that thick. Or something that thick. What the hell? It's pretty cool though. Time to stain it. Uh, Crimson Guitars Amber Spirit Stain. I think the amber's gonna come out fairly close to that. <laughs> and just a quick coat of uh, penetrating guitar finishing oil. I'm having fun. Yeah. I kind of like the look of this. I could leave those rivets raised, but, well, look at the shiny thing. I truly enjoy sharpening things. Now. Got a new axe. Should we go and, uh, should we go and chop something? Ah oh no! That's actually a waste of watermelon. I've had enough of going inside. You got the mess, yeah? 